Emma debut, yep. big first round finish. Talk us through the end of that fight for us, please. Oh, it looked like a pretty nice gear team. Yeah, I think um, I rocked him with a few shots to start with. Uh, I seen his eyes roll back, and then he shot him. He left his neck out there, so that's what I'll grab it and finish it. You know, <laughs> no waiting around. It seemed that he was, you know, he was trying to keep some distance, trying mm -hmm. to land sort of combinations on yeah, you. Yeah. Are you surprised at his game plan? Is that what you expected or quite frankly didn't bother you either way? Uh, it didn't really bother me, but I expected he was going to um, try and take me to the ground. He's a submission guy. But, um, he was standing. He had pretty good hands, to be fair. Better than what I thought he would have. I thought I'd be able to um, beat him easy standing, but he landed some good shots. But uh, as soon as I seen that finish, I took it. <laughs> so, um, you know... Um, this is your first experience on yeah. Mavic. You talk us through a bit, you know, what it feels like to be, especially on such a massive show, um, you know, for the promotion. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great experience for me. You know, I've had two amateur fights. Um, to be coming here and all these professionals, uh, doing this interviewing, it's just a great experience for the future. I'm just happy to, to be here. Can I? So obviously, you've got your amateur experience. Are you, are you looking to stay? You know, fight amateur, or is you know, is there some pro thoughts at the back of your head? Yeah, definitely. I, um, I do want to turn pro, but. Um, I'm in no rush, you know, I want to gain some more experience. I only got one round out tonight. I'd like to probably have about two or three more fights and then some professional. Banner coming back here June 13th. <laughs> any reason to believe that Ali Pass isn't going to appear on that card? I uh, would have said they're not doing any more amateur fights, so <laughs> I don't think so. I would love to. If I was given the opportunity, I would take it. You, uh, uh, you train out at the UTC. Uh, yeah. So guys like Paul Lee and Leon coming into yeah, UFC yeah, yeah. with a big knockout. Just talk me through the atmosphere in the gym at the moment. Oh, it's great. Um, Leon just come off an impressive victory in um, Poland, eight second knockout. And um, we're training with him, like guys like that, on a daily basis. You know, there's other professionals, Silk, Yannick, some great guys in the gym, and we're getting to work out with them as an amateur. It's great for me to get that experience at such an early age to spar with such great guys. So it's great. It's great in the gym. Leon got a great big bonus. I'm not sure if Bama do, but that's a nice finish. Is, is, <laughs> is going to give a shout out now for a performance bonus from Bama? Yeah, Bama, 50 Gs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, any questions? Sweet. You know, obviously, you just mentioned Bama said to you that they're not going to be doing amateur fights moving mm -hmm. forward. You know, what's your thought on that? You know, as you know, you're still looking to progress in your career, get some more amateur rounds behind you. For you, is that a little bit disappointing that they're kind of dropping that whole um, amateur aspect? Mm, it is disappointing, but to be honest with you, I don't really care where I fight. You know, um, we have hard fights in the gym every day, so I can fight on a smaller show than this, so this show doesn't really bother me. Do, do, you, do you not think it's good, though, that you know amateur fighters can get the exposure at this kind of level as opposed to having to fight on the lower-level shows? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It will be a shame if they do cut the, um, the amateur fights, but I don't know. That's, that's how my hands. Two things, guys. Thank you. Can Thanks, I just grab a couple of pictures of you? Just yeah, yeah.